grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved. Today is still June 27th of 2018. It is 1 10 p.m. Central Time. And I'm literally just going to show you a culmination uh, real quick uh, for us to pray for some people. And one, I don't know if we're supposed to be praying for or against because she is totally wicked. The Lord is showing me stuff that's being done behind closed doors. Um, but these people came up and anybody who knows me know I don't follow stars. I don't follow what they do. I don't follow nothing they do. So when he puts stuff, people before me randomly, sometimes he specifically tells me what to do. And sometimes he just shows me and I know to pray. I kid you not. And my husband can testify to this. I had that happen even with Juanita Bynum. And when he first put her before my eyes, I'm thinking, Lord, what you mean pray for her? Shoot again. I need her to do this. She did. I need her to pray for me. But you know, that's just you. You know, you reverence people who have gone before you. And he showed me her in a vision very clear. And I woke up in turmoil. He said she is sick. Pray for her. He flat out said, pray, pray, pray. And I immediately I felt inadequate, but the Lord corrected me on that real quick. And I looked at my husband because I woke up in such a rush. He said, what's wrong? I said, it's Juanita Bynum. She's sick. The Lord told me I have to pray for her. We need to pray for her. And I did. And after that, I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't go start looking for nothing. I just went on. And sure enough, weeks later, because she's a woman of God, she didn't err. I kid you not. Something the Lord had just said to me uh, was in one of her messages because I would randomly click because the Lord leads me. And it's always something he needs me to hear every time. And because he had just said this to me, I saw it in one of the titles of her messages and weeks had passed, weeks and weeks. And I clicked on it. And within three minutes of being on that video, she gave that testimony. She said a lot of people didn't know she was sick. She said, y'all have no idea. They had gave her some medicine and something backfired and it started re reversing the fluid and infection to the back of her head and her eye. And she was still ministering and nobody knew. But the Lord had showed me and I kid you not. The exact time she said it happened was when the Lord told me to get up and pray for her. I kid you not. He brought her and said, pray for her now. And I felt inadequate, but the Lord rebuked me quick. And I got, I got up and did what I always do. And I didn't go digging to try to find nothing. But he said something to me that day. And all of a sudden, coincidentally, you think a message was right there for me to click on? And within three minutes, she gave the testimony. And the Lord said, see, that was him building my faith. That, yeah, she's known. She's a, she's a mighty woman of God. But we still have to pray for people. And so now when he shows me sometimes, sometimes he'll flat out tell me. And sometimes I just know what to do. If I don't know what he needs, he needs me to say their name, get up and pray and cover them in the spirit. And he's going to do what he do. And so that's what I'm doing today. And I'm not going to put the days because each one of these were given to me on a different day from J1 to J1 because it's still June 27. So I'm not I'm not doing anything on social media. But these names were given to me on different days, not the same day. Back to back. And these are people we need to pray for. And the one that I don't know if we need to pray against her for, because she is in full-fledged witch, witchcraft, demonic. Straight, and she was teaching it to, to, to other girls. I saw this with my own eyes. I have no doubt that he showed me what was really going on. Okay? The first person he brought before me, and I'm not going to say the days, and I don't, I'm telling you how to get up and look these puppies, because I knew they faced, and I had to Google and then find and ask questions. James Harden. Everybody know he played for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, I don't know who he played for now. I, I don't know. Even though I watch basketball with my husband, James Harden. We need to pray. I don't know if something's going to happen to him, if he's going to die, if the Lord's trying to save him or turn him before it's too late. I don't know. I'm calling us to pray for them. James Harden. I'm going to do this person last because I don't know about her. Jennifer Hudson. I haven't seen that girl and I can't know when. She was brought before me. Jennifer Hudson, whether he's trying to save her or her time is almost up, I don't know. Go before prayer and intercession and the Lord will begin to speak through us. Okay? The next person I had to look up because I knew her face very clearly because I liked that show on The Good Doctor. 
And I haven't seen it because the new season haven't started. But I saw her very clearly. She was brought before me. Just like I had an a older lady in church. Uh, we called Mother Mims. The Lord kept bringing me before her. And every time I would pray, she was just getting out the hospital. I didn't know it. I had went back into the hospital. Every single time. Uh, yeah, the girl and the good doctor. Antonia Thomas. I had to look her name up. Antonia Thomas from the good doctor. I don't know what's going on. If she needs salvation, if something's warm with her, if something's trying to take her, if something's going to happen to her, all I know is she's another one. Antonia Thompson. I'm gonna put their names in the video when I load it up. And the last one is who I saw in full fledged witchcraft, full demonic Madonna. I can't remember the last time I saw her cause I don't follow none of this and I don't look at wicked people. And I ain't scared to say she wicked. She wicked. But if the Lord brought me before her and showed me what she was doing, whether we are to pray against it, to stifle her, or to pray for wrath of God to take her and correct her, the Lord is going to give us wisdom on that. But them are the four people. But she's the only one where he literally showed me what she was doing and she's teaching it to younger girls. Witchcraft. Heard it. I heard it. And I saw it with my own eyes. I don't know who this little blonde girl was that she was teaching. And the little girl was repeating her imperfection. And when she said that she was proud that the little girl got it. Okay? And that's Madonna. So James Harden, Jennifer Hudson, Antonio Thomas, pray for them and whatever the Lord is trying to reveal or protect them from. Madonna is in full-fledged witchcraft and teaching it to other young girls. And pray for what the Lord would have us to do, whether it's praying against it, stopping it, decreeing, declaring, null and void, send forth the mighty weapon against it in the spirit of one accord. That's the prayer. And that's all I'm going to share with that because I had to finish that and make sure I get that done. So let's send up prayer for them and pray for wisdom on how to war in each because you approach each one differently. But those are the people that came before me uh, in these days of J1 to J1. And I know it's urgent. Because he doesn't show me anybody randomly for nothing. Even though other stuff was going on in the dream that's separate. For them to all of a sudden force in in the middle of the dream, that's the Lord. When that's forced in in the middle of the dream, you can't ignore that either. That's the Lord. Uh, take this before the Lord. Go in prayer. Ask for wisdom and earnesty of spirit. And without partiality and hypocrisy. Because you may like some of these people. It doesn't matter. Okay? This is the word of the Lord. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.